No matter your situation, be prepared with lots of loop. It's the most important part of a good examination and will be your first line of defense to avoid rectal tears. Between that and a gentle systematic approach, you're ready to go. Bear with my crude animation skills, but I like to start my rectal examination by feeling over the dorsal aorta. I then slide my hand over to the right where the cecum is in a counterclockwise or clockwise manner, feeling for the ovaries, uterus, or inguinal rings in male horses. As I come down, I finish on the bladder and then look for the pelvic flexure or the large colon that might lie typically on the left. It's kind of hard to differentiate from the rest of the abdomen because it's soft in a normal situation. Then I go and I put my hand over the spleen, which should be tucked up against the body wall, and I feel for the caudal pole of the kidney in the horse if it's small enough. I finish my examination going over the small colon and feeling for the fecal balls. This helps me also be sure that there's nothing else that might be abnormal in the center of the abdomen. I also included the drawing here on the left to help with visualization of the examination from the side. It also has a really good quick description of what I use, which is a finger flick to feel for the caudal pole of my spleen and make sure that it's against the body wall and nice and sharp. Findings on a rectal examination that might be consistent with a surgical lesion include dilated loops of small intestine that feel like sausages or bicycle inner tires in the center of the abdomen. You may also feel a displacement with the horizontal band and significant gas distension. This could still be associated with an impaction. Or if you feel that same displacement, but the colon wall feels thickened or perhaps there's some pain when you're exploring it, you might be dealing with edema and strangulation. I've only ever personally dealt with one enterolith and it was an accident that I found on a rectal examination. I was lucky enough to get it out by treating the horse as a small colon impaction and I pulled it out during one of my rectals. It wasn't big, about the size of a lemon, but thankfully it was already in the small colon and working its way out. It may or may not have stayed as a paperweight in my office for a while. More commonly though, enterolists are stuck and the colic just doesn't progress.